Okay, so this video is one of the most like commonly suggested right now because of um, the ec economics A-level exam coming up. So um, I thought since I've found my essay structure, I thought I'd make it. Basically, I've been getting asked uh, by people to upload a video of how I structured my essays. And recently I came across this, which was one of the essay questions. Um, and I basically went through and structured it. Um, if you've got any other questions, then you know you can you can find me on Twitter. If you want to see me live, um, I can answer your questions live. You can get me at me on Periscope, um, or you can just email me. I'll put all of them up on the screen. Um, but let's have a look at this essay structure. So this was for globalisation, um, but this essay structure applies for all of all of the economics exam, not just for globalisation. So. I did the one where the case study was on Sub-Saharan Africa and um, one of the most common thought questions was um, discuss the extent to which international trade is the most effective way of promoting development in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, so the first paragraph is obviously your introduction. The second paragraph, you have to analyse it. Third paragraph, you've got to evaluate. Fourth paragraph, you give alternative methods, and fifth paragraph is your conclusion. Obviously, you can have a few more paragraphs if you know you're, if this paragraph is too big, if your analysis is too big, you can break it into two. If your evaluation is too big, you can break that into two, stuff like that. But let me quickly go through it, basically. So in the introduction, you define international trade as international trade was one of the points, keywords mentioned in the title. You define what development is. You get marks for these definitions, by the way, that's the only reason I'm defining them. Um, and then you'd sort of give a bit of context. So how are development countries characterized? Um, and if you wanted, you can mention alternative ways in which Sub-Saharan Africa could promote development. So that was the introduction. It's just simple. Don't make it too long because you don't, you don't get more, like you don't get that many marks for the introduction. It's just the, uh, just to get like level one, level two. Okay, and then the second paragraph is your analysis. Okay, so now you talk about how does international trade promote development. So here I've talked about, you know, it, it would improve your exports um, for Sub-Saharan Africa and it has comparative advantage. So, um, so that might also inc increase the exports. This would cause aggregate demand to increase. Because of that, tax revenue would increase and this could be spent on healthcare and education and that way you could pr uh, promote development through healthcare and education. This would also increase employment, reduces poverty, able to spend on healthcare and education. You reduce the income, income gap and multinational corporations might arrive into Sub-Saharan Africa. So that was the analysis done how you describe how international trade is the most effective way of promoting development in sub-Saharan Africa. Now, you have to start a new paragraph and talk about evaluation. So, um, it's all good on paper, but income may be unevenly divided. So the rich might take 90% of all the profit um, that comes from international trade. Um, furthermore, um, Multinational corporations might shift their profits back to their own countries. So, for example, UK or Germany, that money might be taken out of Sub-Saharan Africa and put into Germany, UK, etc. Tax revenue fills a politician's pocket. Basically, you've got to evaluate. So, why might this policy not work? Why might this policy not promote development? And you, and this is all you talk about in this paragraph. No analysis, just pure evaluation. You've analysed here. Now you have to evaluate on this paragraph. And the fourth paragraph, you talk about alternative methods. So how, in what other ways could you um, promote development in Sub-Saharan Africa? So the things I said was increase tax for rich, increase uh, spending on health and education. And then I mentioned the prebish singer hypothesis, which states primary commodity prices decline in proportion to manufactured goods okay this was a few years ago i don't know what that means um but yeah so you get basically for this you give alternative ways in which 
the sub-Saharan African countries could uh, promote development. So that's a simple structure and obviously conclusion, you just conclude it. Now, don't religiously apply this structure to all your essays. Obviously, you can, you know, just be confident in whatever way you, cho you, you choose to structure your essay. But that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, like I said, at me on Twitter or email me um, or follow me on Periscope and you can ask them live and I can answer them straight away. Thanks for watching and bye for now.